In Windows 10 Hyper-V Manager, we have the option to turn on or off or make changes to Secure Boot. In a regular PC, you also have the option to turn Secure Boot off or on. So this adds an additional layer of security. It's a signature checking mechanism that uh, loads when the operating system starts up to validate that only approved components are allowed to be run. So it basically keeps hackers and bad, bad guys away. So if we right click and choose settings on our virtual machine and we go to security, then we see the option to make this change. Now you can only do this if the virtual machine is turned off. If it's running, then you'll see this all grayed out and you can't make any changes. So if you boot up your computer or try to boot up your computer, your virtual machine, and it won't boot up because of various different errors, you can go into here and uncheck Enable Secure Boot and then see if that makes it work. Now, even though you may not have a virus, you may not have a problem, some, some components that you plug into your computer, such as certain USB devices, will not work with Secure Boot on. I know I've seen that a lot with certain external DVD players and certain USB hard drives. So you can also check the box and just try a different template. So instead of using Microsoft Windows, you could try the UEFI Certificate Authority or the Open Source Shielded VM. And if any of those work, then you know you're, uh, you can go ahead and run with those. If they don't, just go ahead and choose to disable Secure Boot and click Apply. Then go ahead and start up your computer and it should run just fine.